Hi, I'm Shannon and I'm about to start a new van build, however before I started I needed to do a lot of cleaning and preparation to the van, so here's what I did before I started building. Okay, the floor is all off but it's absolutely filthy, so it needs a good clean and I'm probably going to have to treat some spots with rust and fill all of the holes where the previous floors just drilled right into the metal. So, um, I guess get cracking with that. <laughs> So yesterday I managed to take all of the ply off of the walls and the floor, the doors and everything. So um, now it's ready to kind of clean a bit more. I did hoover up yesterday because there was so much dirt and dust and just everything underneath the floor. Um, it was a bit of a struggle to get off to be honest. There's some screws that I actually had to abandon and leave in the floor, like here. Um, there's a few and there's a couple over there um, because they were just rounded off and I couldn't get them off. So now I need to like clean the floor, like give it a good scrub and probably the walls and everything as well. And then um, there's quite a few like rust spots. Like I think this black stuff is just oil so it should come off when I clean it. But there's a lot of rust spots and the holes from the screws and everything. So I'll probably fill those in um, and like file it all down so I can paint over the get rid of the rust and repaint those little patches but it's not too bad it's just some little bits here and there so um yeah that's today's job it is taking so long to clean the floor i did that section even though it doesn't look like i've done it i did this pole in front section um, and I've got most of it, but it is still like dusty, but I just want to get enough off so I can see like what bits need repainting like this um, and like filing down um, But yeah, it's taking absolutely forever. I'm gonna have to go over it like 10 times But there's just so much dirt like in the corners like this where it's like built up So at least I'm getting that off You can see the difference between this side this side. This has already had a wipe as well. So um I'm gonna be here in a while, I think, and I haven't even started the walls yet. The walls are also <laughs> very dirty. Right, I think it's as clean as it's gonna get for now. Um, it definitely still needs another wipe over because I feel like I'm just wiping the dirt around rather than actually cleaning it. But um, my hands are very wrinkly, I'm tired of wiping. So I'm gonna start filing the floor and all of the rusty bits and the wheel arches are quite bad. So, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. <laughs> Everything takes so long. I feel like I've barely made a dent and I've been doing this for like two hours. Um, I'm now on to like getting rid of all of the rust, but um, as you can see, I haven't done a very good job yet. I might go back over some bits, but to be fair, I'm gonna repaint over it and the paint, um, the paint says you can paint directly onto the rust. You just have to get rid of the flaky bits. So. For now, I'm just getting rid of all the flaky bits of paint and then I'll maybe go back over and get some of the big bits of rust. It's another day and I'm still going with this um, grinding stuff, whatever you call it. Um, I managed to be yesterday, I finished that first section and I'm onto this section here. Um, I did this bit, even though it doesn't look like I did it. And that bit was quite bad. So as you can see, it's still not perfect, but now there's only a few little spots here and this main bit. And then onto this side, which looks all right. So I'm hoping another hour or two, I should be done with this thing. And then I can get to painting 
let that dry overnight and then on to the next stage. <laughs> The wheel arches actually have quite a bit of rust on them. Um, I've got a hole starting here um, that goes right the way through. I've just been to the other side and you can see all the way through there. And it looks like something's been filled here already. So um, I'm gonna see if the paint covers the hole. If not, I've got some filler. So I'm not sure if it's big enough yet to need filling, but um, if that hole's forming pretty quick, then I think the rest might go. So I think I'm gonna have to fill it in. I've decided to fill it because the hole is getting bigger and I didn't even touch it. The air is just blowing it away. So I've got this filler, um, just mixed it up and I'm gonna cover the hole. Down, cleaned, give it a hoover and a wipe. So now it's ready to paint and to go over all of these little patches. Um, I'm probably going to end up painting pretty much the whole floor to be honest because look how patchy it is. So um, I've got this paint that is supposed to be good for like rust. So um, hopefully, the fact that I haven't. really underestimated how much of this paint I would actually use um, and I ran out so I just went to buy two more tins so I've done most of it with the first coat I had this little section here that I didn't manage to finish and I've also got to do the wheel arches which is probably needs the whole thing painting so hopefully two more paints is enough to finish this and then do another coat tomorrow the second coat of paint on the floor uh, first coat I finished yesterday um, so now I'm just gonna go over it I'm gonna probably just paint the whole floor to be honest I think I've got enough I've got one and a half tins of paint left so I think I'm just gonna do a really thin layer across pretty much the whole floor because that's pretty much what I covered anyway like you can see pretty much there's fresh paint everywhere so um, yeah I'm just gonna go over that and then that should be good Now the van is ready for the next stage of the build, so make sure you subscribe and stick around to see how I turn this van into a new home. <laughs>